So the first step is to take these babies off of the net. So they come in sets of nine. Well, mine do anyways, and I bought them at Home Depot. So you can get them at any local hardware store. And I'm just taping the back so that when you get to the step of resining your coasters, they're all nice and tidy at the back and you don't get any drippage. So you can pick any colors of alcohol inks. I just chose one simple color along with my metallic brass. So I chose the Budo Brown for this one and it just goes into like a beautiful burnt orange and that's actually what I decided to name this set of coasters that I sell is burnt orange. I just love how it comes out especially when you put the resin on top. You guys are going to see it's just so pretty. So I'm going in as usual with my heat gun, my Revlon hot airbrush that I will link in the description below as well as some isopropyl alcohol. The great thing about these tiles, these ones are porcelain specifically, but what is so amazing is that if you don't like a design, just like the synthetic paper I personally use for my alcohol inks, you can wipe it right down because it's tile. It just comes off right away with your isopropyl alcohol and it's great. And you're going to see in this video that I actually wiped one of the tiles fully. It was just, I would just wasn't having it. It was so messy. So when you tend to overwork one specific area too much the inks they're just not nice they're not friendly to each other they start to look messy and clumpy and you don't really want to overwork an area too too much but it's just so forgiving you can start right over and you know you don't gotta settle you can just keep on working until you get a design that you like i personally work with metallics on all of my coasters and that's just because it gives it a nice accent so i have a marble set of coasters they're called ice queen and they look like marble they're beautiful you can definitely check that out on my instagram so this was when i initially started experimenting with coasters and since then i've done a lot more combinations but for those ones i did like a silver accent and normally i do brass as you see in all of these coasters that i've prepped to resin they have the brass accents, but you should definitely try silver as well because it gives it a different effect. So I'm going in with my art resin. The reason that I used it for this project particularly is because it has such a long working time and I had so many coasters that I had to deal with and this being my first time doing it, I just didn't want to run the risk of not having enough time to complete this project. So I chose a resin that had a longer working time so I could take my time. But next time I'm definitely going to be continuing with tabletop epoxy resin because as the name states it is for tabletops meaning it's a lot more heat resistant and this is something that you want to keep in mind when creating coasters because the first couple sets I created while you know they're beautiful and they're scratch resistant and they are heat resistant up to 50 degrees celsius if you want to put piping hot drinks you know you need something that's a little bit more heat resistant so just keep that in mind when you're creating your sets. And I'm going in with my blowtorch as usual to pop any air bubbles and you want to do this super quick. You just kind of want to glaze over and not stay on a place too long. I've had a coaster go up in flames. So yeah, resin's flammable. So you know, just go quickly. Uh, and these are the Ice Queen coasters. Just love it. They look so smoky with that silver. They're just awesome. And this is the finished set with the glaze on top. This is the resin, you know, you can still see it dripping. I had just done the fresh coat and it just bring, really brings the colors to life and almost softens them up. So yeah. And so these are the final two steps. This is a gold pen that I found at Michael's. So I believe that it is oil based. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't have a water-based one so that the gold lining doesn't wash off or anything like that. And I find that it is much better applied when there is resin underneath. So I tend to just get resin on the sides of my coasters when I'm doing the top. Like I'll just run my finger across to make sure there's some resin on there. And I find that the pen runs a lot smoother when you do that. And these are some self-adhesive cork backings. So I'll link that down in the description below. And I like these ones because I can use them for my square set along with my hexagon set. 
so I just buy them in bulk and because I don't have the hexagon shaped backings which you can find but they're just a lot harder to find and it I don't know it didn't have prime and it was just taking so long to come in so when I kind of need these on demand the square is just the way to go for me so it's fine because you just you can reapply the little cork pieces onto um onto the spots that are kind of missing so i honestly don't mind that they're square it ends up working out just fine and then once you finish that you can kind of go in with your gold pen as well if you've accidentally cut off some of the gold with your scissors which can happen if you're cutting too close I just don't like to do the gold after the cork because I don't like to get it onto the cork itself. And these are the finished products of my first batch and I have so many more colors combinations on my Instagram. Again, you can check that out, place an order. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah.